So the other bag we have in the Moab series is the uh, Moab 6. Again, Moab stands for Mobile Operation Attachment Bag. The way we connect these bags, both the Moab 6 and the 10 come with a set of uh, connector straps. And we call this the tiered system. It comes with four straps and some hardware. And you can attach, attach this hardware to any bag that has a web platform on the side. Um, then the other piece goes to the bag you want to attach it to. And they just clip into the four locations that you can set up here. Again, on the web platform, left or right side. Attaches right to your pack bag or even our DC roller. And then when it's time to deploy or you want to use this to move forward or just for carrying around town, just quickly undo the buckles and now you have a pack that can be used by itself, ready to go. The Moab 6 has a lot of the same features from the uh, Moab 10. So first of all, at the top we have our shoulder strap. We also have our commas pocket. Commas pocket has a 2x2 two two, uh, Velcro flag patch on here. I can open this up and there's an elastic strap on the inside where I can put in my radio or you know, a smartphone or anything else I want to have inside of there. We have an eyelet that's at the top where I can pass it through my earbuds and run those out and down the uh, shoulder strap if I want to. Up on the top, I have my carry handle or grab and go uh, handle. We also have a place just like our Moab and our Rush family of, of packs and bags. It has a felt line or fleece line pocket where I can put in Things like sunglasses or smartphones, I don't have to worry about scratching the lenses or, uh, or the screens. All three sides, again, we have web platforms so I can customize this pack with, by attaching additional uh, pockets or pouches to um, you know, meet the mission. Up on the front, we also have a place here with three by three uh, Velcro patch, web platform, and then I can open up my admin pocket for putting in whatever I need for deployment or for just, you know, again, carrying around town. These will hold full-size AR 30 round mags. Up in the front, we also have a place for business card pockets, organization, and a keychain fob, and a, a, a pocket behind that. Like the Moab 10, the Moab 6 is also set up to be ambidextrous. So again, if I don't want to set this up for a right-handed user, I can just unweave the strap and weave it through the buckles on the left. It's also placed in here if I want to carry a smaller hydration pocket or anything else I want to have protected in a padded uh, backing, I have the place or the option to put that in there as well. And then we also have the tacky rubber to help hold the pack in place so it doesn't slide around while you're uh, using it. If I go to the uh, main compartment, like the Moab uh, 10 and our Rush series of uh, bags, we have a shove it pocket with a pull bungee uh, attachment strap. And then we also have two pockets, one zippered and one zippered with mesh so you can see what you put inside. Again, this is a sling style bag designed to be worn over the shoulder. Again, right or left uh, shoulder. Notice that it has a smaller silhouette so it's easy to carry. And then if I want to use the bag, I can spin this around and now get anything I need out of here by opening it up and working out of it like a workstation. Again, like the Moab 10, there's a quick access hidden pocket where I can access a full frame or up to a full frame size pistol if I'd like. Again, this is a Glock 17, so you can tell it's a full size pistol. This pocket does have Velcro on the inside, so I can Velcro in additional pouches if I'd like, or I can just go back inside and close that up and I'm good to go. So again, this is the Moab 6. It's gonna be offered in black and in sandstone.